please revise a box and whisker plots and standard deviation. Okay, interesting question right there, Mark. Yes, box and whisker plots. Guys, this is really, really good marks, okay? Uh -huh. Okay, now let me explain to you how to do this, okay? You, you guys are in the trick, so let's have a look at what a box and whisker plot is, okay? Firstly, it's got a box mm -hmm. and then whiskers. Okay, remember it's like a cat, like we did at the beginning yeah. of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Meow! Okay, whiskers and the cat thing, okay? It's a box and whisker, but it's so simple, you have no idea, watch this. And people get this wrong. You've got a minimum value, that's the smallest value, you've got a maximum value, and then if you remember, you've got a lower quartile, a median, and the upper quartile. Now, many, many students, you know, Mbui, they don't understand where the quartiles fit in and how do you deal with this? How do you get the quartiles? And it's one of the easiest things to do and I'm going to show you in this Gelezenati lesson exactly how to plot a box and whisker plot. Here we go. All right, so let's move on. The time, here's an example, the time taken in minutes to complete a race by a group of 13 runners is given below. And we've got to draw a box and whisker. Now, how many runners are there if you think of it? It's 13. Is that odd or even? Odd. It's odd. It's odd. Now there's a big story around odd and even, guys. Okay, listen to me very careful, carefully here. Sometimes a quartile may be part of the data set, okay, or sometimes it's not. Now let's explore this a little bit. It's very, very easy. Have a look at the, the times, okay? You can see here they are 16, 18, 18, 18, 19, 20, 21, all the way up to 29. And there's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. There's 13 scores. You're happy there? Okay, now there's 13 values. Now the thing is, the important thing, it's been arranged from smallest to biggest. You must arrange the scores, okay? Now check this out. This is gonna be amazing. The median is the middle most score. Now, if you look at it, there's the number of um, values there's 13, which is odd. Now, this means that the median is part of the set. Are you with me? Okay, I'm Zandi, you gotta check this out because this is get marks. Now, I'm gonna circle the median. Look at that there. I circle it. It says, hello, I'm standing out. That's in buoy. I'm the median. Okay, now look at this. To the left of the median is one, two, three, four, five, six scores. Can you see that there? And to the right of the median is one, two, three, four, five, six scores. So the median is 21 since there are, there are six values to the left and six to the right of 21. And the median divides the set into T equal halves. Okay, and Buyi stands here to his left, six people to his right, six people. You see that there? Okay, now watch out for the lower quartile. Okay, many students get this wrong. Now I want you to watch the screen very carefully. What is the lower half? Okay, now remember the median is 21. Now watch this guys. I am going to say the median is part of the data set and the lower quartile is now listen to me carefully guys it's the median of the lower half so if you go to the left below the median as it stands below 21 check this out now watch this this is going to be magical let me wave the magic are you ready the mathematical moot is about to happen guys now let's move down the lower half are you ready yes <laughs> watch out come move down watch it move Wow, look there, down we go, you see, <laughs> that's the lower half. Now come on, now look at this, there's, there's six scores there, do you agree? Yes. Now if I said to you, if you look at these one, two, three, four, five, six, which scores, which score is the middlemost? Okay, this 18 over here, if you look at this 18 here, is that the middlemost score? No. no, definitely not. Do you know why? Because there's two to the left, there's a 16 and the 18, and then we've got 18, 19, 20. So that 18 is a problem. Okay, so I'm going to just highlight him. He's a problem here, this one. Okay, now this one, this 18 says, oh, there's my twin brother. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Look at that, 18. He can't be the median, this one, because there's two on the right and two on the left. So you know what we have to do? We have to say, well, these two guys aren't going to be, they're not going to be good leaders. We need a good leader. So from outer space, Mzanzi, is coming the alien quartile, 
down from outer space, from the Andromeda galaxy. Here it appears. Are you ready, guys? Watch this. It's an even. Now, when there's even number of scores, I'm circling those two, and there's going to be something magical happening. Okay, if we remember this, you average it. Remember, you add up those two. So the lower quarters, you take those two guys, add them up, divide by two, you get 36 over two, and you get 18. That's a triplet. <laughs> okay. Now watch where 18's coming from. Have a look here. Are you ready? You've got to look at this on Galeza Nati. 18 is appearing there. Look at it. Now Mbuyi from outer space. From outer space. Look here. <laughs> Look here, brothers and sisters of the Gleleza Nati clan. It's going to fall down from heaven and it's going down between the values. Now look what do you see to the left of the alien quartile. There are three numbers and to the right are three numbers. That has got to be so easy. Remember when there's an even number of scores. Matrix, listen to me. You have to insert from outer space a quartile. You see there. Now, what about the next? Now, we circle those two. Look at this. Can you see there? 18 sits there. He's from outer space. Three on the left and three on the right. Do you agree, Earthlings? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Now, let's have a look here. The lower quartile is not part of the set. It is an inserted number. Okay. Now, what about the upper quartile? Come and buoy. Let's wave the magic and bring the data set down. Here we go. Watch it. Watch the slide. Down we move. Let the Sangoma weave the magic. Down you go. There we go. Okay, cool. How many numbers are there? You can tell me. Six, yes. Okay, now six is even. So the upper quartile has got to be inserted. It's got to be from outer space. Okay, here we go. Now watch this. Let the magic begin. Now, 23 says, I want to be the median. I want to be the quartile. No, you can't be because you're not dividing the set equally. Okay, 24 says, I'm bigger than you, 24. Three, I'm bigger than you. I'm one more than you. <laughs> okay, so 24. But no, you can't be the median. You can't be the upper quartile, my friend, because to the right of you are two scores and to the left are three. The two of them, and they want to get even with each other. Okay, now 23 and 24. Ah. Uh -uh. I corner. Uh -uh. No, we're not going to do this. Okay. What are we going to do is we're going to have to average these two. So watch this. So we circle those two. Stop fighting the two of you. Okay. We're going to average you. You can both be, you can both be part of the team. There we go. So we add them up and divide by two. And look, 23 and a half is an outsider, mm -hmm. an alien being. All right. There it goes. Okay, now watch this. Come down, fall from heaven, from the sky, and be for me today the upper quartile. Can you see that there? Now look at that. To the left and the right, we have an equal number of scores, you see. And then all we now need to do is we need to do the box and whisker. So check how easy this is, guys. The upper quartile is not part of the set. It is an inserted number. So the minimum value, the smallest is 16. The biggest is 29. The five number summary would be the minimum 16. The lower quartile, remember, was 18. The median was 21, part of the set. Upper quartile, 23,5, maximum 29, and we draw the box and whisker. See there, there's the minimum 16, lower quartile 18, median 21, upper quartile 23,5, and your maximum is 29. See how easy it is to do a box and whisker. How do we work out the accumulative frequency? Wow, that question. Many, many matrix get it wrong, and it's so easy. So let's let's have a look at this quickly. So come with me, guys. Let's have a look. How do we work out cumulative frequency? The results of 50 learners were recorded in the table as grouped data. Now remember, grouped data, we put them into class intervals. Do you remember that? So have a look here. Here's a table. So we've got from 0 to 20. So kids that got a mark from 0 to 19%, um, there were four of them. And then the 20% is to, it goes to 40, but remember it's less than, that's 39. So it's a mark of anything from 20 to 39, not 40, okay. And there's 11 kids. But you see, you don't really know. The problem is, guys, you don't know what the actual marks is. That's why they group them into class intervals. So you can only really get estimated means and that kind of thing. Okay, look at the 40 to 60. We're getting a bit better here. So a mark of 40 to around about 59. 
um, it's less than 60. Okay, and then you've got 60 to 80 is 10, and then the distinction candidates from 80 up to 100, no one got 100 there, would be five of them. Okay, now all of these add up to 250, but the big problem now is how do you do the cumulative frequency? And you don't wanna get this wrong. Now watch this. I'm gonna draw another column here for cumulative frequency. Now watch how easy this is. You start with a four. Okay, you got it there. Now watch this, four kids, four kids got below 20, do you agree? Yes. Okay, now check this out, guys. You go four plus 11 gives you 15. Mm -hmm. And look at that, now four plus 11 is 15. That means 15 kids got below 40. See how easy that is? Yeah. Now watch this, now you say 15 plus the 20 is 35, then it's 35 plus 10 is 45, and 45 plus five gives you 50. It all adds up. Now, when you draw this, this is what I find with many metrics, you don't know how to plot the graph. Now, all I do is I want you to go to the end point. Now watch this carefully here. If you take that, now watch this, the end point there, 20, and you circle the cumulative frequency, create a graph point. The 20 is the X, the four is the Y. And you do the same for 40 and 15 as well. And you do it, look there, 60 and 35, 80 and 45, are you with me? And 150, so you always go to the end of the class interval, the end is the X, and the Y value is your cumulative frequency. Now that's all it is. And you plot these points. So look at this. So 24, let's go here. There's your 20 and 4. 40, 15, 60, 35, 80, 45, and 150. The X axis is where the marks are on, and the Y axis is the cumulative frequency. And then you draw your ojive curve. You know, Jay-Z, ojiven. And Buyi and Mark, ojiven, ojiven. We're going to do the cumulative frequency jive. It's kind of like a S. Wah, wah. Okay, and then from there, you can read off the median. You go halfway up and across. Okay, 